Welcome back. I'm here with our hurricane expert, John Morales. Hey, John, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank you. Uh, I know that normally when we talk, there's a storm that we're talking about. We're happy to say mm -hmm. nothing significant that we're worried about. But worried. we have. <laughs> right. I'm here, it doesn't mean there's anything out there. Right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. But there's something that is alarming going on right now, and that is ocean temperatures and what that might you know, mean a couple months down the road when there are storms trying to form. Yeah, listen, I mean, I, I know some, some of, you, of you folks are on social media mm -hmm. and, and you're probably aware of this because scientists in particular are so alarmed yeah. at what's going on that they themselves are tweeting out the, the with incredulity mm -hmm. about what's going on with the sea surface temperatures, which across the Atlantic right now are running about one degree Fahrenheit warmer than normal. Uh, and, and hey, about a month ago, that was two degrees mm -hmm. hotter than normal. So at least we're trending in the right direction. The problem is that we're still talking about, you know, sea surface temperatures that are 90 degrees in spots like we're looking at in parts of South Florida right now. And you've heard about these readings in the mid to upper 90s in Florida Bay. Some of the keys seeing water temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. And, and, and Steve, I know you yourself and Ari Odzer reported mm -hmm. on this. The fact that it's not just what's going on at the uh, at the surface of the water, you go down 70 feet mm -hmm. and the water's 87 degrees. And according to the scientists that Ari Odzer interviewed, they've never seen anything like it. So what does all this have to do with hurricane season? A lot, right? I mean, everybody knows that sea surface temperatures impact how many hurricanes we get and how strong they can be. So we have all these records down in the Keys, and we had, I just mentioned it, 85 degrees for eight straight days in Key West. The temperature simply can't fall. The oh, yeah. water is too warm, and that's why we're getting all these record lows. Yeah, I mean, remember, remember the sea breeze, right? <laughs> I mean, the sea breeze still exists. The problem is it's not cooling us down because the water temperature is 90 as well. Listen. With these hot sea surface temperatures, we're very concerned about what hurricane season can bring. We have to hope that we'll get more of this, mm -hmm. Steve. Wind shear that you see here in red is still going strong. This started at the end of June and has lasted into July across the main development region of the Atlantic. Wind shear means hopefully less hurricanes despite the hot sea surface temperatures. And if you want to learn more about why that one disturbance is not a huge concern and why Don is not a concern, head over to NBC6.com. You've posted your latest article there, I have right? an article there today, yes. All right, John, always great to see you, and let's hope that things stay quiet even with these warm ocean temperatures. Hope so. Back over to you. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much, Steve and John. Great to have you. Uh, no, great you. to have John in the house.